the government is aware of uh, the threat of uh, delegitimization. It's, uh, we've been aware of that, uh, I would say, more than before, ever since the Goldstone Report in 2009 and the Mavi Marmara uh, flotilla in 2010. And steps were taken, but they were, to a large extent, I would say, uh, first steps, you know, like a, a little child. And uh, it takes time before you really can build a comprehensive and robust effort. Uh, and I believe that uh, eventually we shall be able to do that. I was pretty frustrated myself with the pace in which we made progress on that. And uh, this was one of the reasons why I left the government. But uh, and I believe that in the private sector you can do more and more efficiently and uh, more rapidly. But uh, still the government is extremely important. It has to take part in that. Uh, there are several resources, certain resources that nobody can uh, replace the government in. For example, when it comes to intelligence, you need the government. And uh, when it comes to real budgets, big budgets, you cannot compete with the government. How about a government, how about a state boycotting companies as a revenge, or as we said yesterday, boycotting the boycotters? I don't think that we have to uh, use necessarily exactly the same steps that are used against us. But we should take steps against the boycotters and against, and against those who are trying to label us and to shame us. We have to understand, deep inside, this effort is made of two elements. One is delegitimization. The other is the creation of guilt feeling inside the Israelis. To, to make us feel that something is wrong with us because we continue to control certain elements of the lives of the Palestinians for such a long period of time. And because of that, uh, we should do something about it. And you had a, an opportunity here to hear a lot of people speaking to that uh, effect. I believe that uh, we should first and foremost focus in the anti-guilt creation uh, industry. And this guilt creation industry is not, is not solely uh, made of people who do not believe that Israel has a right to exist. Uh, but We heard here today people saying that the BDS is in somewhat uh, in fault of, the, of Israel regarding the policies BDS. of the nationalist government. BDS is against the right of Israel to exist. But many of the people who are on the fringe of the BDS say, no, we are not against the right of Israel to exist. Of course, you are in favor of that. But Israel is guilty for uh, this prolonged uh, occupation. And How do you answer that? That we are not guilty for that. We, it, if it was for us, we would make peace a long time ago. The reason there is no peace is that the Palestinians deny Israel's right to exist as a nation state of the Jewish people because they deny the fact that there is a Jewish people. And that's why uh, we cannot make peace with somebody who denies our mere existence. And that's what prevents us from bringing an end to this strange situation where we hold the, uh, uh, in, involved and in, in, uh, affect the life of Palestinians for such a long time. I would wish that this would come to an end.